Hello students working with TCP IP command line tools networking fundamentals this is your module 8 and in this module we are going to looking forward towards the command that is really useful and much reputation in working and dealing with the TCP IP suit and we have a lot more command that we have to use in the repetitive mode and that are much common and necessary to work over TCP IP and those are the tools which is started from here the IP config command it is so basic command and used to get the information about your network adapter your IPs your utility you have and it may also show and represent the active connections and whatever your IP details, your IP6, your DHCP enable or not all going to be displayed by using that command and if you want to see the usage of this command here we have on the packet tracer just you have one switch and router and if we take the laptop from here click to the laptop go to the desktop command prompt and type IP config and here you can see as we didn't provide any IP we didn't provide any subnet mod that's why it's not supposed to show you any address here but it shows only the link local addresses which we already explained in the IPv6 lecture in the previous module so here this is the example that's how you got the detail by using the command IP config let's return to the slide here here we I already pasted a picture where you got the IP you got the subnet and if you have the different adapters connected to the mach to your machine at the moment so you're gonna find those type of material those kind of IPs and addresses while using this command and here you have some switches or you can say extensions to differ the result which you got with the previous IP if previous command so if you go with the slash all that could report you for the all interface and the detailed configuration of that port if you go with slash renew so the IP address you got and your adap adapter got through the DHCP could be changed if you wanted to release your IP that is already take through the DHCP protocol so you're gonna use forward slash release then if you wanted to delete all the DNS entries from your system from your DNS so you could use IP config space forward slash slash DNS so you, there are a lot more thing and a lot more extensions you can use according to your application and requirement then the second very most important command we have in the TCP IP suit is tracer this command is used to get the details about the path packet takes to reach a destination and how many stops it it takes how many destination points it have to get that point where it is subjected to flow which can be detec detected through the trace it command as you have the word trace and the command is inspired and extracted from the word trace and here it has some more options and extensions here so here as we have a topology work where the EIGRP is totally implemented and we can use that topology for the example how to use that command and how you're gonna use its extensions while working on this TCP IP suit so here we have the topology three different networks we have and I'm going to use the third one and go to the command prompt and if we use the command tracer and the IP address we are sending the packet from this node to this node which has the IP address 14.0.0.2 
and here you can see that's how it trace the hops it takes and the maximum hop number is mentioned by the syntax and first the package reach to 10.1 that is the first hop then it reach to the next hop it has that is 11.2 on that hop then the 13.0.2 that is its third node and then the final which is the destination and it shows all the hops between sorts to the destination that are all represented here so that's example you can add further extensions according to your application according to your requirement all are listed here and here you have some example here the person type the command and enter a website because the website is somewhere on the server on any remote location and if you type the tracer and put the address just right after the blank then it is start to note all the hops a single packet take from source to that particular destination where the server is physically available so this is the best tool to get the in-between path how much distance how much hops it take to reach that point so this is the application of Tracer. Then you have the third most important command it's netstat as you got the word stat that means it definitely providing you some stat about some network because it has the starting part the prefix is net and the suffix is stat. This command is used to get the detail about your computer which is on communication with the other network devices moreover it provides some protocol based knowledge of your packet that is being transferring from one point to another and it has several different extension which you are going to perform in your coming task on the practice labs.com equipment and it has several options and command lists which you are going to familiar just right after completing this task and here you have the description along the extension and the syntax which you may add to that command then you get the detail how it is making the agencies if we going to we are going to the command prompt and just type the command net stat then see what gonna happen because right now the active connection is not maintained because there is no ping here if we maintain some connection on the back end side and if you want some more learning so I could show through on my machine how this command works and here this is my local command prompt and if we if I type net stat enter and there you can see those TCP connection are on active mode and that are been keeping time to time and if you further going to the ping point wanted to get the pinpoint knowledge so you may further add those extensions the options according to your application then your NS lookup command this is the simple and the basic network tool that really helps the network administrator to resolve the queries related to the domain name system and it is mostly used to troubleshoot the DNS problems here you have some example you have two kinds of NS lookup interactive non-interactive in interactive mode you just got the default server 
and the address of the particular server where you are a member of that but in non-interactive mode you may type the website the, the remote addresses of the server then you got the detail how and which IP is related to those servers and these are different usage of NS lookup and obviously those are non-interactive mode then you have another command the pop ping command it is another useful utility but used for your windows based diagnostic tool it provides the network path the delays happen during the travel of packet from one point to another and it is much similar to the trace it and ping command and it may use along with those command and it also have some extension if you wanted to find out just go to the PC the command prompt and type here path ping space question mark enter here maybe this command is not working on the packet tracer mode and if I may launch the command prompt then I definitely got the result pop ping space and it is working right now because we had to add the location and the destination that's why it is not responding at the moment if we wanted to get the option just add the forward slash question mark and here are all the extensions which you may further add and get your desired result then you have our command it has two parts work one is working on your machine and the other part is working on all over the world all over the machine the switches are the best and main part of the ARP protocol and it stands for address resolution protocol which is responsible to make the IP addresses to the MAC addresses and it's responsible to provide the information which IP is bind with which MAC address and it has so many options but here we are going to discuss those one which has been included in your task and you had to perform dash a shows the host name in the ARP and the dash t is used to clear that cache which maintain the physical address with the IP address and this is the representation pictorial representation how ARP is told those IP addresses and MAC addresses along with then the ping the most famous command and the most important and the backbone of your networking the ping command that is the internet control message protocol ICMP echo request and through this command you can assess your network you can judge your network and through you can pinpoint the default the faults of your network that may be occur at any moment at any point during your production and it has a lot more usage and application and so many extensions it have but we are discussing the few ones because that are your coming task so if you're gonna add dash a so it will reply you with the host name of an IP address target if you add dash t that will extend the ping command until you break that sequence if you use the dash i th so through the through adding this extension you may have the privilege to configure the time to live time to live is the life of your packet which is really important while ping to the destination then you have the NB 
stat command that is a greater command used to display the net bios of the TCP IP statistics and this is the main and important command where you are need in need and you want it to display the net bios tables for both local and the remote computer so you may use this command and it also have some extensions and options which could be used according to the requirement like the C is responsible to display the content of the net bios name cache dash and display the net bios name table of the local computer so things are so vast and so expanded but you are need to just focus on what you require like the nbt stat is responsible to release and then rephrase the net bios name for the local computer and here is your output response for the extension dash c that provide the complete backend detail of the connection and the net bios over the tcp ip so that's all for this task based lecture and hopefully you will attempt all of those tasks and you have a great chance to get more familiar and your skill get more sharp by using those equipment and using those command on that equipment that could really expand your knowledge and exp explore you those things in your mind so be focused and show your most valuable capability to learn that sort of skills it is the most important and some basic command of the TCP IP suit so stay with us thanks for watching